Hello, hello guys, JT here, your local Houston realtor with Keller Williams Realty Southwest, and I will be bringing you another home tour. Today we are visiting a model home by Maris' Homes in the community of Dry Creek Village, located in Missouri City, Texas, outside of the city of Houston, that is about less than 30 minutes away. Now, this community starts at 335. Uh, they build up to 2991 square feet. They will offer you three to five bedrooms, two to four bathrooms, full bathrooms, one half bath in each home, two car garages, and they build up to one to two stories. Um, I'm just showing you here that on their website, you are able to visit their uh, brochure online, which is really easy and convenient for you guys to just look at and be able to see all of their communities all of their floor plans, you guys. Today we will be visiting the Trinidad, which is also the model home that is on site. And here I'm just showing you the different elevations that this particular uh, floor plan comes in. So you have elevation here. Now this uh, floor plan gives you 29, about 2935 square feet of home space. So I just showed you the three different elevations that this one comes in. And now I'm showing you the floor plan that this home is. Um, now it is flipped when we go and look at the model because that is an actual build. But on paper, it does show that the garage is on the right side. And I'm just showing you a little bit of where everything is. And I think I'm about to show you uh, this one. <laughs> so this offers you... 2935 square feet, like I said before, four bedroom, three and a half bath, two car garage, and it is a two story home. And here I am showing you the map of where this community is located. So as you can see, it's right here um, next to the Fort Bend Tollway. Now, the Fort Bend Tollway is something that you have to pay for, like you have to get an easy tag, but it's really easy to get on, very easy access to get on. Um, you don't have to stop at any toll booths or anything like that. You just keep going. <laughs> now, to get into the city of Houston, you have a couple of ways. You can take the Fort Bend Tollway all the way till you get to uh, 90, US 90, or you could take Highway 6 up to 59 and then head into Houston that way. Either way, it's pretty quick less than 30 minutes to Houston and we're gonna go ahead and get into it <laughs> so here I'm just showing you the outside of this home now remember this is the Trinidad uh, model and I'm pointing out where your garage would normally be and now we're really gonna get into it <laughs> let me just say I like this door you guys I really like this door I like the frosted look I guess that's what you call it a raindrop look I'm not sure what that type of glass blown is, but I like it. <laughs> so I'm showing you the foyer here. You do get a two-story entrance. Um, right off of the entrance, you have a small little coat closet here. And then you also have a small form of dining and your home office or study. Do you guys see that window or those windows? You get three large windows that's giving so much natural light in here that will help with your energy bill. Less lights on, more money saved. <laughs> so we are going to head into the formal dining room here. And again, you get two large windows in this room, giving you lots, lots of natural light. You guys, I cannot speak today. <laughs> But this is open to your entrance and I'm just going around it showing you uh, a bit of how big it is and it's a pretty decent sized space so right next to your formal dining you have a half bath nice little pedestal sink a uh, little mirror toilet the normal <laughs> so you do have your staircase that is pushed a little bit further back to the house. It's not normally, it's not towards the front like they normally build them, like most builders really build them. So that is very nice. 
and heading into your kitchen here, you will get shaker style cabinets. You have a nice little walk-in pantry here. Gas stove, which I love gas, you guys. Does anybody else like gas? I like gas stove. They just cook so much better. So I do believe that you get quartz countertops here. Very open concept. So you have an informal dining or your breakfast area right off of the kitchen. And it opens into your family room. I just love that this window, these windows are just so amazing. So we're going to head outside here, you guys. And I'm going to show you the patio. So each of these builds come with a covered patio. And please remember that the lot that you are actually looking at, the, the size of your backyard, is not the actual size that you will get. The size of your yard will all depend on which lot you choose to have your build on. So let's just keep that in mind, you guys. And we are going to head back inside because it was hot outside that day and inside had AC. And I'm just showing you these floors. Looks like wood look tiles, but they are really, really nice. Nice neutral palette giving you another view of that kitchen and we are heading into your primary bedroom which is downstairs and it is a pretty large decent sized room you got the little bay area window which is nice giving you a lot of natural light you guys room is big enough to fit a king size and have two nightstands so of course that's pretty big room and they do have the same type of tile floor here I'm just showing you the baseboards and the uh, the door siding, I believe that's what that's called. Door casing. <laughs> the door casing. And now we are heading into your primary bathroom. So you do get a separate tub and shower. You get a nice deep soaker tub. So I guess you can call this a garden tub, some people call it. You have a frameless shower. And they use that same tile that's on the floor as your uh, tub and shower surround. So I thought that was really nice too. Um, you get quartz. Look at that quartz, you guys. <laughs> so you get quartz also on your double vanity, undermounted sinks, which are very nice. And do you see those chrome fixtures? I just love those chrome fixtures, y'all. A separate commode room. And then this is your primary closet. So pretty decent size, especially for a home of this size. Shoe racks. <laughs> if you guys know and have watched my videos before, you guys know I point out shoe racks or shells, but I call them shoe racks. So we are going to head out of the master or primary, whichever way you guys like to call it. And I am showing you here where your utility room will be. So normally that is going to be the entrance of your garage. But they are using it currently as an office because this is the model home. And I am giving you another view of this lovely open kitchen with these quartz countertops. And this is a water purification system so you can drink water straight from the tap <laughs> and I wanted to point out this tile and this grout I really do like this tile it's a it's like a classic subway design but the tile gave you a little bit of extra oomph a little pizzazz we are going to head upstairs now and upstairs is where your three secondary bedrooms are so upstairs, right off of the landing, you get a nice view of this lovely game room to your right. Very nice, very open. Um, you also, I'm not sure if you guys saw it, but it is open to your front foyer. There you go. It is open to your front foyer. So up here you have three bedrooms and two bathrooms, I believe. We will know for sure when we get into it. <laughs> so
So this is bathroom number two, well, number one for upstairs. They use the same tile from the floor as the tub surround. And then they also use, looks like uh, quartz countertops up here as well. Now, I'm not quite sure if that is an upgrade, but when you come and visit this builder, you will be able to see as well. Actually, you can look in the brochure and it'll tell you what features are standard. Here I'm showing you the media room, which I thought was so cool. Well, I think is so cool because you guys can have a game room and a media room, but you can also use this as an extra bedroom if need be. But you do have three other bedrooms that you can choose from. So here we are going to bedroom number two. In that mirror there is your lovely realtor. <laughs> and I am showing you how big this room is. Um, it is a pretty decent size, especially as a secondary bedroom. So you get like your own little hallway coming in. And then I'm showing you the walk-in closet that this room has, which is a decent size as well. Nice tall ceilings throughout this home, which is very nice. The carpets are even nice and comfortable and plush. And we are heading out of bedroom number two into bedroom number three. Another decent sized room. Love that window. Giving you lots of natural light. Pretty decent size as well again. I believe this is a queen size that they fit in this room. But it looks like you still have a little bit more room left if you prefer a bigger bed. Each room has a walk-in closet. And while we are heading into the third bedroom, well, fourth bedroom, I want to take this moment out to remind you all to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, and share your favorite realtor as I am showing you the, thir the third bathroom. <laughs> so this third bathroom has a little bit of more counter space than that uh, secondary one. Um, same countertops, same floors, same tub surround. Now that tub surround, I'm not quite sure if that is standard or if that is an upgrade. But we all know that in the brochure, it will tell you. That door there is your attic access, of course, for when uh, you have workers come and they need to gain access to that, and that's what that's for. Uh, that is another closet, also a walk-in. I didn't open it because it had uh, their communication stuff in it, and that just wasn't a nice sight. <laughs> All right, you guys, as I'm showing you this last closet, please don't forget to like, comment, and share, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Until next time.